Hi guys, I'm Marty Smarty Mum. Uh, welcome to another one of my videos. Uh, we've got the scene set up a bit better today. We've got some new little friends. We got into, I got into town, which is a big deal for me with my PTSD. Uh, so we've got some little octopi that my husband picked up for me. If it's definitely the rainbow board. Um, and we're slowly getting set up for Christmas here. Uh, Jezza recently set up a cool challenge that was originally sent to him by Ray Dizzle, which even though I'm a very, very small little channel here, I thought I'd have a play around with. Now we don't have a Dollar Tree here in the United Kingdom, but I did hit a few of our equivalents and I went around a few of the stores because well, I was out and about, so you're going to have a few few different style videos to show what the UK has to offer. And the first one was, well, B&M &B Bargains. If you live in the UK, you'll know exactly what this store was. And surprisingly, the one I went into didn't have as much art supplies as I thought it would. For grown-up artists. But I did find some cool things. When I looked, I found this really nice looking sketch pad which we artists can't do without so it's 160 gsm so it claims it's gonna hold up but we'll have a look got aqua markers now you all know that i love my acrylic markers I'd never even heard of Aquamarkers. I don't know what they'll do. It technically, these were six pounds. They te technically come in 72 colors, apparently. If they do what they say they'll do on the box, they look like they could be loads of fun. I got them in purples and blues. So we're gonna be doing set colors. Um, we're gonna see how they go. It's based on water, water-based ink, and I'm presuming that I then add water, yep, yeah, add water for watercolor effect. So we'll see. I got some Stedler pencils, which, well, if I can do the picture on the box, it would be brilliant, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm not what I'm not a pencil artist in the first place. <laughs> so that's gonna be a deficit on them. Um, but I do use them with my markers so if you can see if I can use them the way I'm used to using them and they came to £5 for 36 which is very cheap for pencils but they're not wax core which and then I just got a really cheap set of £1.50 pencils which yeah but Oh, and, and an eraser with a pencil sharpener, which if we're going to make out, it's very important. So I've got this lovely collection of stuff, which was from Home Bargains. Now, trust me, this is actually one of the nicer quality selections I've got along the way. As we go to Poundland and some of our other shops, the quality actually decreases. So we're going to start with this selection of the videos and we'll go to some of the other stores. I'm hoping the paper holds out, um, but we'll see. And we'll go from there. Uh, we'll try and create some art with this today. Uh, yeah, so I'll see you on the flip side and see what I managed to do. Let's try and get some art, guys. <laughs> with me luck. <laughs> Right guys, so this is a quick little interruption to say that what was going to be one video for each story is actually going to be two. And that's just generally because my health right now isn't doing great and doing two pieces of art for each store that this well, this is what this one worked out as. Some store if it works out as one, then it will be one. But it's just too much and it's not something that I personally can do it or handle. Um, I was exhausted after doing the one piece and I want to produce high quality art, not rush quality art for you guys, something that you can enjoy. Uh, I will explain a bit about what it's like living with a chronic illness for you. For you. Uh, 
and trying to be an artist if it's something you're interested about i'll give you little bits of information during the video but guys i'm here to explain and tell you a bit about the pencils today um so put the kettle on join me in a co coffee i know english girl enjoying a coffee weird So this kind of pencil, um, it's the kind of pencil I would get for my kid at school and for the prices of the set of five, there's nothing really wrong with them as you can see. Um, it's filled with the kind of wood, it's uh, made with kind of filler wood, I'm looking at my husband now for the name, it's not solid is it? Powdered, powdered. powdered wood that's kind of compressed together, uh, it, they're very light, the grips are perfect for school age kids. Um, easy enough to hold, actually quite good sometimes that kind of grip. I use kid style grips on for my hands when my hands are really playing up. I've got some rubberized grips, but this kind of pencil, uh, I played around at the top just to see the issue because sometimes cars like this, you can actually have real issues being able to actually rub out your work if you press on too hard. Now I went in purposely trying to press on too hard just to see how bad it was to test the rubber at the end of the pencil because they can be quite naff sometimes which at school age I always used to think it was the teachers not wanting us to properly be able to erase our work so they could see what we could what we did I always th used to think that they wanted to do that which I'm sure they didn't but my husband shaking his head I, th I thought it was a setup I thought they wanted to see what we did and yes, and I still surprised you. I thought it was a setup, and they always wanted to see what we got up to. And I doodled all over the side of my work and got in trouble for it at school, which isn't surprising that I doodled everywhere. So, and I got in trouble, and I could never rub it out properly. And I thought it was a setup that my rubber never worked. Um, this rubber is felt a lot different to my normal one, which really confused me. I never thought I was going to be the person complain about the quality of a rubber um, especially two years after getting into art this 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 made me feel like such an art snob to say the least um, they felt different the rubber I normally use felt soft and yeah more comfortable it it had this like kind of different texture to it and I could play around with it. It felt almost malle malleable to touch, whereas the other one, you can see me fiddling and faffing with it right there and then, because I was trying to figure out what was going on. The other one felt very like the rubber on the bottom of the shoe. It didn't feel like it had give. It, it was very, it was a different way and it it had different results as well in how it worked and that confused me because they were both made with actually very reputable brands when it comes to art um helix i think will always remain my go-to when it comes to buying rubbers uh, pencil sharpeners by the way that pencil sharpener worked just as well but i am always going to stand by my lovely electric sharpener for doing my general sharpening because I'm lazy and because I have very very sore hands. Now I'm about to start the swatching so one of the things I'm going to do while I do the swatching is explain a little bit about why I'm off with the chronic health. I'm going to get the husband to get to the swatching a bit so you can watch it. Right guys, so as you can see started swatches. I just want to give you a little bit of information about the pencils I am working with. So I've got Stedler's, here we go, 36 pack. Um, I paid a fiver for them, as I said earlier. And just laying down some swatches here so you can see the colours. I am not experienced with pencils, so this is going to be interesting. You see, they are quite difficult to get out. That's because they are plastic. Uh, the packs are plastic and they are, do cause me a bit of difficulty getting in and out that's also because my fingers can be, get quite difficult tremors and issues with my fingers and you'll probably see in a minute i believe i do go put 
one of my arthritis gloves on to make my life a little bit easier in dealing with this problem. Um, so while you're actually sat here watching me do all this, I want to talk to you a little bit about why I made the decision to do it this way. And that's all related to living with a disability uh, that um, does have to affect how I do my art and decide to do it. Now, I could have chosen to do two pieces of art and they would have been significantly lower quality. Uh, and it's just not something I'm willing to do. I would, yeah, see, arthritis glove. Um, I would rather, rather provide you with something that was a better quality and put a couple of videos out there. But my health is not only impacted by putting the time and effort into art, uh, which is actually something that helps me escape from the pain in some ways. It's, it's impacted by being a mother, uh, a wife, and my PTSD, which is a mental health condition. I live in constant pain and it's nearly Christmas, so there's a lot going on that I'm having to prioritise outside my work with art. So we've got my son, who's just got into the narrator and nativity, which is rather cool. Uh, and I'm trying to fight my PTSD to get out a little more too, which is also really rather cool. I've managed to get out on one big outing in town so far, uh, all in my wheelchair, uh, but it's still an outing. And dealing with that and dealing with trying to get these out for you guys, which is something I enjoy doing, I'm just having to make sure it's done in a way that works right and allows me to try and get good quality videos out. And it's just gonna to have to be a different way to some of the other people out there doing their videos, which I suppose isn't a bad thing. It just means mine are maybe gonna be a little bit, they're gonna, the content's just gonna go a little bit longer and well, videos like this, you're just gonna get a little bit more on the subject matter and when it comes to me learning skills like the video editing my husband's still having to do a lot of that side because i suffer from a lot of brain fogs and blackouts so learning that kind of skill is hard so it's all slow but we get there and hopefully in time i'll improve enough so we can keep going and on instagram things are building even building a lot faster so if you actually do like the work you're seeing on here do pop over onto Instagram because I do not only my art over there but I also share stories about not only my mental health hitting the, the mic there not only my mental health and my chronic health stories but others and uh, with mine at the moment it going down quite a path that's worrying to me so it'd be lovely to at least have the support and been able to share it with your you guys and talk to you guys about it so if you want to come on over, over to instagram and join the community and be there not just for me but for loads of other people that are in similar positions come on over but anyway that's enough of the serious stuff we've nearly done with the swatching here it looks like see it's not as pretty as cool as some of the other people swatching because I don't quite know how to do the blends with pencils yet, um, but I'm getting there. I know how to use them with markers. That's how I use pencils normally. It's my, but I don't normally use them on their own. This piece I did make though, since I've ordered Jazz's new illustrator box, I intend to remake with the pencils that come in that box and see if we can see the difference between a low quality piece a box of pencils and a higher quality box. So that should be interesting. I'm also intrigued to make the same piece with markers underneath as a base from the same box set. See if we can see and look at the differences between the three pieces. Now that one I may do for you on a joint video because markers I can work quickly. So yeah. Let's move forward now and get to drawing our 
love the piece of artwork which is going to be based on my very cute new little friend that I have joined, has joined our channel. We've got our new little friends, are going to be permanent little mascots and Frosty the gnome here who is going to be here over Christmas. Oh, a gonk he's actually called, not a gnome in England but yeah he's here for Christmas. So let's continue with the art. Right, so you can see all the pencils laid out now. I've got them set up, ready to go. And the pencils, paper we're working here is 160 GSM, which would be more than enough for working with this. It claims to be multimedia paper, which means it should work fine for pencils. Uh, uh, it should work fine for anything, actually. And I'm using, sticking to using the pencils we got. Uh, one issue I have got if I haven't got an outline of pen but I'm going to try it. I don't, don't actually remember if I decide to go with using one or not. I may well do because it'll drive me nuts not having one. Um, but apart from that, uh, this is one piece of work where I'm making sure you do get to see this stage of drawing because this stage can take a lot longer than others. But this is one of those days where it is important for you to see every step. So when you're looking at this this stage uh, and you're looking at a shape like this little guy to draw him you're looking at in front on and as you can see i'm drawing these little tentacles look at exactly what you can see when you're forming a 3d fit shape if you can't see all of this x on the top don't draw, don't draw what you know is there, draw what you actually can see because we so often would add all of it so we'd be given an entire top of the head even though it's not there which um, makes it look wrong it's like the top of a roof of the building we would add this top of the we would add the chimney, the top of the building when at eye level we're not seeing it if you look out of a window right now, you'll notice that all you can actually see is maybe the peaking of it. So the peaking of a um, chimney, the peak and the shape of a roof. So be ve look very specifically at each part when you're drawing something and try very much so not to add the extra bits. And as you can see, I've drawn the little X what I can see and the rest of it disappears off into the background and it's by doing that you manage to add the 3D look even at the sketching phase to what you're drawing and same for drawing these little underlines now you can see there's little bits of them visible drawing them but not making anything darker at this point and the other really really big trick you'll see I'm barely holding that pencil and I'm pressing on so light. And that be, that's because A, it lets me make mistakes and rub them out if I need to. But I've got actually a lot more control that way. I can make these tiny little lines as I move around. You can see I'm moving around making such small little lines. And it allows me to slowly build up the shapes as I go rather than rushing it or making sweeping movements. It's not how I draw. Some people can just go, Phew. for me, this is how I'm comfortable drawing and forming something. So have a go holding your pencil really lightly and just slowly letting something evolve. It, for me, is something that really has helped me. Anyway, let's go on to adding the colour because that's always the fun bit. Right guys, 
So I thought this was a good place to stop and I'm going to apologise for the camera drifting. We're still trying to get logistics and everything right. We're getting a new little army thing as well to come over because this one's kind of dead um, soon. Um, but yeah, so as you can see, these these colours are going to go so far and this is me going on over and over and over and over and reapplying and using all the techniques that I've learned from watching some very skilled colouring artists over the years and I know at this point for some of this the best thing I could possibly try is to use solvent to actually work with these but I actually not even sure these are the kind of pencils that would work as well with them there's a lot of white still showing through and however well I've worked in and however well I've tried to reach that I believe the word was burnishing point um, it's just not there and the blending isn't as flawless as I'd want it to be. There's quite distinct lines between the two uh, colours, which is a shame. However, at the same time, I'm managing to make things like being able to show definition for creases uh, by using some of the very, very generic tricks like using the reds to go over and the blues to go, well, the yeah, blues to go over, some of the reds and so forth, just to be able to add some of the colour back in. But that's just, ha that's just adding a bit of shadow and it managed to add a bit of the 3D depth to it. In all honesty, this piece works I was at this point feeling a bit frustrated with it but I've watched many colouring pencil artists sitting there, tell, sitting there going, feeling frustrated and so I thought you know what I was going to get it to the end and see how I felt at the end of it because I was also frustrated for the simple and simple fact that I don't work with pencils because they're very thin to hold and my hands really struggle with them and I thought that could be a big part of it too so I pushed through and I'm going to get you close to the end and see what you think at the end of this and talk to you about how I feel at the end of this and go from there Right guys, so as we've got towards the end, you can see that it actually has come together as a really nice piece of art. It could do with a lot more vibrancy adding, which is why I've considered redoing it with my markers. But that's my love of markers for vibrant colour. I'm a marker artist. I work with markers and paints, acrylic paints as my primary colours. So of course I want vibrancy and of course I want colour. Uh, they're, they're my tools, I don't work with pastels. I'm a big kid, I like colour. I like a lot of colour. So maybe that's just me wanting something I'm used to. And I have to admit, I love the way that you can apply and add shadows here and how they work, the same rules that do work with markers that are applying here. So if I want to add my deeper shadows in, and make, my crease, make the creases show that are naturally showing here, like in the greens. I could use, I could use the exact same tricks. It's just, there's frustration. I have to go to that black pencil at some point, which I would never have to go to. And that frustrated me. And I think my overall opinion of these pencils is they would be phenomenal for a teenager learning art, uh, especially you know 13, 14 year olds that 
wasn't, you know, sold on the idea, but was learning and at the early stages. Uh, unless he definitively wanted to be a colour and pencil artist and had, you know, natural to want other talent, then I'd be getting into the a bit further on. They have, they, they, there's definitely were, you know, for that level, for creating more professional level arts. As I said, they might work better with solvents. I've put, I will consider if I ever buy solvents, testing solvents with things in the future, but I don't do enough colour and pencil art yet to consider that. What do you guys think? Do you like the artwork? I do think it's cute. Maybe he's cute just because he's cute. I mean, come on. Do you think he's cute? Or do you think Philip Nestor Squid should be angry? Which way around do you think Squid should be basically? And um, I'm going to, as I said, be redoing him with a higher quality set of pencils later. And I even, I will even consider seeing the difference on markers. Just so you can see the difference of mediums. Apart from that, though, if you did like this video and you did like, you know, finding out a little bit about what it was like living with Connor Hill, I say I'm sorry for the rambling today. It has been a really rough week this end. But, right guys, so I am going to come back and do the other, other materials I had in this, but I'm going to do it as a separate video because it's a bit easier for me to film them that way. Um, because this took me so long and in general it hurt my hands a lot um, because generally of my joint issues. So I've commented a bit through the video. The coverage of this you probably can see there's bits of white showing through. I have worked really hard to try and cover it as well as I can. It's got to its full limitations without using a solvent which I don't have access to. I've tried my general blenders and anything. It's just, I don't have anything like that. And I'm trying to generally stick to what I got from that store. But as a general supply, using them just as they come from the tin, it still made something that as someone untrained and has never actually created a piece of art with pencils full stop because they're not my tool. It's made a piece of art that's actually really nice. They're not good, it's not the highest quality, it wouldn't sell. And if I was going to go into working on, that was my husband telling the kitten off for trying to play with the uh, mic lead. All right. <laughs> if I was gonna make it, try and make a piece of artwork that was gonna be actually a bit more professional, I would put it, invest as much money as I do into my markers. However, it's still made a piece of artwork which has turned out really cute. The colours just aren't as vibrant as I would like, but he still looks really cute and he's got a little friend, a little portrait of my little new friend. So, and they would be for five pounds, they would be brilliant and especially good for a young artist learning at school ages. Learning the skills, learning the tricks, there's nothing wrong with them. So if you're picking them up for your kids that want to learn this kind of thing, there's nothing wrong with them. Fiverr, you, you can't really go wrong for a fiver in fairness. So that's my opinion. Someone that's probably uses them <laughs> generally would probably be screaming at me. Um, but I'd do the same if someone that did, was reviewing the tools I use generally. So yeah. I liked it and I hope you like my little octopus. I think he turned out quite cute. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> Sorry the video missed the last little bit of doing his little teeth in, but we got the rest of it. Anyway, I'll see you playing with the watermarkers in the next video. That one I'm really looking forward to doing and hopefully they won't hurt my hands as much. And as I said, I've got some other videos to test out. I've got Pound, pound Shop, I've got home bargains and the works hopefully wilkinson's a lot of the other british stores coming up in the coming weeks as well as loads of other videos planned and i will be getting re ready for more for christmas currently i've already got my little normie friend up i have got other decorations coming so i will be getting ready for christmas here anyway my husband like hates the norm what do you guys think do you like him i love him my husband hates him don't know why 
Anyway, I've waffled on far too much today. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe, and hit that bell. As other videos down below, somewhere I don't really quite fully know where it works yet. I'm still figuring all this out. And I'll see you next time. Stay safe and well, guys. Bye.